Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great day. And um, it's Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday we're off and we're having fireworks. Uh, but don't worry. We've got our Sunday afternoon live stream, okay? If you want to be part of the call, if you are a channel member, you can zoom right on in. We'll have the conversation because we are counting down to training camp. And as we sit here right now, we're exactly 68 days, 2 hours, 57 minutes, and 15 seconds away from kickoff of the 2022 season. And I don't know about you, but I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. You know, I put on some clean duds today. You know, my clean Cowboys. You know what's nice about this thing? It's great for the hot weather because it breathes. You know, because, you know, brother here, he I, I sweat quite a lot. I, I, I'm definitely sweating. <laughs> if you're a Cowboy fan, you know you're sweating and drinking a lot. But anyway. The Eagles have been all over me all off season. They have been talking over and over and over again. They're swearing that they've already won the Super Bowl. The the talking heads out there, they're talking about all the work that the Eagles have done. They are, without a doubt, the off season champions. I, I can't dispute that they are not the off season champions. Now we'll see. What happens when the season gets here? But it's kind of funny because I actually enjoyed this. This is uh, Birds 360. Bob Groats is actually talking about the Eagles and their prospects for the season. Let's go to the tape because I think this is kind of this is kind of fun here. Let's go to the tape here. Let's go. I I'm I'm. I'm, I'm I'm down on the paper straws. Yeah. yeah. I'm not a, not a strong paper guy straw? at all. What? Yeah. I've had to deal with that. All right, Groats, let's talk some football. Expectations up Expectations. for the Philadelphia Eagles. People are putting out lists, top seven rosters in the game, favoritism in more than a double-digit number of the 17 games they're going to play this year. Is the pressure being ratcheted up on the Philadelphia Eagles as we speak? I guess I guess you could say that. I I still, you know, I I think some of this um some of this optimism is delusional. I mean, I don't, you know, I I really let, let's be honest about this. If you look at that team, they got a really good offensive line, right? But all it takes is one injury. They do. I mean, they do. Look at the backups, you know. So those guys got to play. They all got the good backups. What are you they talking about? They got good backups. Backup what are you talking about? about? Compared to other Dillard, teams, but you know, Dillard they are gets, what they are. Dillard gets hurt in practice. <laughs> we talking about and, uh, practice? Jack Driscoll, Jack, you know you're going to get two or three games out of him, and then he's going to be out for six, Ooh. six, seven weeks. But all right, but here's the point: those guys, if they can go all seventeen, mm -hmm. they got the best offensive line in the division. And you're going to win some games. The, the wide receiver core, I, I think they got two wide receivers. I, how can they be a top five wide receiver core when you got you only got two guys? I mean, they're really good. You know, Brown and uh, and Devonte Smith are really good. But the rest of those guys, let's be let's be honest. Let's about be them. honest I think here. People are overrating quite. Yeah, five Zach Pascal. You know, yeah. um, come on. Have you have you listened to Nick Tor Sirianni talk about Pascal? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's, he's not going to get the ball. The Pro Bowl mm -hmm. this year. Come on, he's going to be blocking for AJ Brown on the jet sweeps. Sweeps if he gets in there. And Greg Ward, you know, he's a leadership guy. I, I'd rather have Jalen Rager than either of those. Guys. Oh, damn! Jalen Rager, saying, Rager talking regular, Jalen regular. Saying, you know, Come on, so, man. So I mean, the one you got two pretty, really good. I think Devontae Smith is the best player on the team. I, I think I said that the last oh, show. I think he's player. he is a talent. So you got two really good wide receivers. You got um, you know the running backs. I like them, but you can't unless you're Tennessee. Got a good tight end. Tennessee. Good tight end. I like Goddard too. Unless you're Tennessee, you're not going to win that way you know, with running the ball. And um, and is the quarterback going to be able to throw it? We we still don't know that. I mean, I I was looking for uh, you know even in the the little warm ups they did during the OTAs, I was looking for anything I could gleaned from his delivery, his steps and everything. And he did something different every drop back. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see any. I mean, 
But it, you know, that's inconsistent the was it was an OTA. So, you know, you're not yeah. all in a rhythm or anything, but uh, so, I mean, you, you guys got to, and look at, and the defensive line, I like the defensive line. I, the guy people haven't spoken about or been talking about is Milton Williams. He's going to be really He's not going to play. Where's he going to play? Uh, Where's he going to play? Milton Williams is going to get a lot of snaps. Yeah. Where's he going to play? Good. Yeah. 20, he'll he'll 20. probably end up, he'll probably end up in uh, where Brandon Graham is. I, I don't know if Brandon's going to, you know, I don't know how much juice he's going to have. So, I don't know how much Brandon wow. or Milton are going to play. They I think Milton's gonna, Milton is going to play a bodies. lot. And then, um, and then the other guy, Sweat, he's he's the one that's going to benefit from Hassan. Oh, yeah. Josh Sweat's a good player. Yeah, yeah he, he was, you know, if uh, if Reddick had been there last year, he would have had du- double-digit uh, sweat would have had double digits. I think Jordan Davis is more important to Reddick. Jordan than Davis. Because he's just going to. In, in, in his rookie season, he's a two down yeah. guy, John. I mean, come on. A two down oh, guy. During the warm ups. Probably. But it, it, I'm not only talking it's about. It's going to take him some time. Yeah, I agree with that. He's only going to play about 40, 50% of the time as a rookie. But when he's out there, you got to double team him. You have to. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Huh. They don't sound quite as confident here. You know, I'll tell you something else too. I've been watching some um, some of the Bradbury footage, and uh, you know, there's a reason the Giants thought that they could do without him. Be careful, Joe. Ooh, yeah. right, did he yeah, just I, call out Bradbury? Thought, here was my thinking on him. Whoever the Carolina <laughs> Panthers draft at cornerback is good. This guy, he, he's okay. I, I don't know if he's good. Wow. He's okay. Well, he's, other better, guys, he's better he's, than uh, Tay Gowan and Zach McPherson. Yeah. Wow. No question. And they, you know, it's a definite upgrade for for the Eagles. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and and I like this guy Tart. Looking at some of his stuff, this wow. guy's a tackler. He's he's a pretty sure tackler. So I like what I've seen of him. Um, oh. But and the J- J- Tart band. I right know you guys. Here. I know you guys like the that little linebacker Jacoby Dean. Jacoby. Jody's Nicobi. a big Nicobi guy. I'm, <laughs> Nicobi. I'm, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, Nicobi. Nicobi, yeah. Uh-oh. I don't, you know, <laughs> you know what, Jody, he's not the biggest guy. I mean, this, you know. Oh, he, 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 he offside linebacker, he's, he's a, only become the greatest football player in the history I don't, of the game. I think it's a little bit early to talk about those two guys. Oh, wow. You gotta, you, you gotta just watch. Th- th- the this isn't me trashing play. him. Stop this is Eagles. Analyzing the size of the play. Oh my God, he's only five eleven. How can he play linebacker in the national? He, he's football not five eleven. Did you see him play? Did you see him play uh, <laughs> he's, a, he's not even five eleven. One of the three, uh, most prestigious universities playing against the best competition. Won a national championship. Key guy to their defense. That, that doesn't register. With Homer. You. They had, about the fact that he's only five eleven. Homer. They had five guys drafted in the first round. Defensive guys. I'm exaggerating a little bit. No, they did. The didn't they have five? Was the five? Yeah, it was five. It was he uh, he's going to be, he be the best out of all of them. And he went in the third round, and all those other guys went he's in the first gotta round. He's got to be better than that guy from the Chargers who led the Chargers in tackle. I mean, there's something that I would not put at the top of my resume. Yeah. So you're I not a because you're a white fan. I led the guys Chargers in tackle. Wow, Bob. Now, I, 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 the Kobe team's got a chance to be a good linebacker, you know. He's got a chance to be a one. good linebacker. You know, I don't think it's going to be I don't, any giant is he, splash is, as a rookie. Do we know if he's even healthy? I mean, he, no, he, he barely <laughs> did anything. Yeah, I mean, damn! So remember how he was right. really impact. You know, he wanted to play down <clears throat> the wow. injury concerns. Yeah. He was and conflicted, it, remember? Yeah. He didn't yeah. know who to take in the third round. I mean, the yeah. second round. The second round. Yeah. Oh, he knew who who to take. Take the stick and offensive line, and he admitted that it becomes yeah. down to offensive line or defensive line. Well, he said he was conflicted though. Yeah. Conflicted. <laughs> yeah, and, and he's going to be tarred feathered if this season doesn't end up being good for them. Uh, camp Jergens, yeah, he'll yeah. sign two days before camp, just like Landon Dickerson last year. Yeah, um, I wouldn't be concerned about that. But uh, getting back to the linebackers, Bob, you're trying to get us off track here. Well, no, so my, have... my whole point, though, was I, I think this talent is vastly overrated, you know. All right. But if wow! I'm rating, is, is this wow! pro football focus? Because... Pro football focus, top <laughs> oh, seven. For God's sakes. Top seven uh, <laughs> yeah. roster in the NFL. Uh, but I want to get on the linebacker because you're ripping Jody's guy. 
So we have three possibilities. T.J. Edwards. Oh, Tyson my Woods, God. N'Kobe Dean. Of those three, who are the two who are going to play the most next season? Well, it'll, it'll be um, – well, Edwards will be one of them. Um, the other guy, if Kaiser's playing a lot, that's, that's not bad. Good. That's, that's bad. Good. Yeah. But he might, but, but he might, he's going to play more than Dean. And I'll tell you why Dean is going to get hurt. Oh, damn. he is literally killing him. He's got no faith. He's nice saying depth. you got that's no you chance in hell. Monster. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I told you about the depth. I'm not, I don't even know. I don't even wow. know if they have, uh, they, they barely have, you know, except for the defensive line, they barely have 11 starters on uh, defense. <laughs> I, so. I'm pretty sure I know where this one's going to go, but I'll give you a chance to be negative about another guy. How do you like the Eagles punting game? <laughs> punting. Yeah, yeah, they need to go. Yeah, we all know that. They need to upgrade that. Yeah. Not even the punting game! And, you know, to, uh, although, you know, I respect Miles Sanders and what he says. They're, they're not All-star a, team. The Eagles aren't unstoppable. They're, they're going to need, need a pretty good punt. All-star oh, wow! Uh, all-star team, man. Uh, what is Miles? Uh, obviously, you probably shouldn't say that kind of stuff, Bob. Uh, but you know, all star. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think he just means that at some time in their lives, they've all been on an all star team. Oh no, That's he didn't. True. No, he no, no, he did. I would have had to have been there because I would have yeah, been. But that and that doesn't differentiate yeah. you from any other team in the league. Yeah. Everybody's got somebody who's in high school. <laughs> Every player on You're all right. 32 teams in the National Football League. Right. Right. Oh, oh wow. In. Yeah. It's I don't bits. know what the – yeah, I mean, but, you know, you can't – I mean, you, I, I wouldn't, you know, don't oh. knock the guy for being optimistic. Uh, but, you know, this is the obviously the downtime in the NFL. And everybody's bored. Everybody's looking. And Miles is talking about all-star teams. And A.J. Brown is – that's out there with conspiracy theories on how long the days are, which he's correct. Correct. And Jody doesn't believe. Um, and, and Nick Sirianni's threatening to fight people on Haddonfield tennis courts. We got to get the steam back in South Philadelphia. Though. I didn't Bye. know about that. Sirianni. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. you didn't hear about that. No, I, I missed that. So what did he, what happened? Uh, a caller from Maple shade here in South Jersey, called up Joe, one of Jody's stations, WFAN, <laughs> mm-hmm. and he's a Giants fan, and he claimed that he was wearing a Giants hat and I believe the Yankees t-shirt, if I'm correct, Jody. Yes. And Nick Sirianni was giving him the business on the tennis courts in Haddonfield, which I've been there in my youth, uh, and, and said, and was threatening to fight him, which I do not believe, by the way. I do not believe for 10 seconds that Nick Sirianni is threatening some rando because he's wearing a Giants hat on a <laughs> tennis court with his wife. I think it's just a blowhard. Okay. But that's the story. Whoa. I like, <laughs> the edge. I like that edge. Yeah, he's, he's, no. part, well, bring that into the season, yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah, yeah, bring that into the season just like you brought in the uh, Beat Dallas t-shirt. I, I'm looking forward to that kind of stuff, man. Well... You know, it's nice not having to be the one to trash the Eagles, to let the Eagles people trash themselves. You can watch the whole thing because they just go on and on and on till the break of dawn, literally saying that the Eagles are overrated. So I hope you guys are all having a great holiday weekend. We know that football season is not far away, which means we know what we're going to see. I fire Howie. Fucking fire. Motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot. What an idiot. Dallas has Amari Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. 